Back in the early 80s and into the 90s, we had some really good quality pocket world band radios that would receive AM, FM, and shortwave bands. And they were small enough to carry around, you know, in a pocket, basically, but they all but disappeared. I just got sent a new one to check out. And this one's actually not bad. Even though I can't receive any shortwave during the day, I'm sure it's going to perform just fine at night. Let's check it out. I received the package today, so let's uh, see what I got. Official unboxing. What did I get in the mail? I was sent a small pocket radio to uh, show you guys, and I guess take it apart and see what's inside it. So it says AM, FM, and shortwave receiver. Hmm. It's got a line in, a recording feature, accepts an SD card, and Looks like it'll play WMA and MP3 files and probably record from the radio itself. Here is the unit itself, including the owner's manual, the user's manual. There's the unit itself, actually quite compact. Uses a rechargeable battery. Standard 1000 milliamp. 3.7 volt lithium ion battery so it will charge up using your standard USB plug or port on the side line in headphones line in place to put the TF card USB plug on the side and your controls on the front now the power looks like it might have some charge in the battery Let's just see how well it receives. Just regular AM reception. I guess you press and hold. Ah, there's how you do it. You press and hold, and it will it will find the next station. It's actually quite sensitive. I have a hard time receiving that on my regular radio. So it's picking up all the local stations on our AM band here, and uh, we'll switch to the FM band now, and just see what uh, we can get. We'll start down at the basement and see whether it'll pick up by test transmitter, which is down at 87, 87.5, which it does. like-minded and sort of so even without the antenna the extended it seems phone. to pick up pretty good we're able to start seeing we'll see how the shortwave band works on it too whether i can pick up wwv for example So as far as the shortwave bands go, it, it, it has separate bands for the different meter bands. We'll see whether it'll pick up 5 megahertz now. If it cover that, it should cover WWV. I think it probably can put the frequency in directly too. Um, without just scanning, I can probably punch them in directly. Let's just see how to do that. Okay, to set a station, say, into a memory, if you want to enter the station directly, you can just enter the frequency. So for for example, if I wanted to enter 650, I would enter 650 and press play. And if I want to save that into memo number one, I would press and hold memo, enter 01, and press play. 
Is it a save? Yes. Now I've saved it into memo one, as you can see. So I can do the same thing for the rest. If I want to save 690, I can either search it out and save it or enter the frequency directly. So if I want to save this into memo two, press and hold, zero two, play, save. Well, I'll do the same thing for 7.30. Turn the volume down on this a bit. 7.30. Memo 3. Memo 03. And then press the play button and save. That's how you set your mem memories. You can do the same thing for AM, FM, and shortwave. Okay, now I've got it programmed. It'll go through all the stations that are programmed in memory. Actually, not half bad sound for a small speaker like this. And in case you're wondering, I don't get the stereo effect from headphones, but uh, it is stereo with headphones. As soon as you plug in an SD card, it'll start playing whatever music is uh, on the, the uh, card itself. It'll play MP3 files. In mono through the speaker and in stereo through headphones. Play MP3 and, and WMA files. me the bit rate that I've encoded this at. Comes with a little stand too on the end of the strap so that you can stand it up on a on a table. Actually not bad sound for playing mp3 files. It's excellent sound for a small speaker like this. Shortwave operation covers the 60 meter, 49 meter, 41 meter, 31 meter, 25 meter, 22 meter, 19 meter, 16 meter, and 13 meter broadcast bands. Uh, this time of day, I'm not going to receive anything, and with the small antenna on here, it's unlikely I'll receive anything until it gets dark when the shortwave signals start to uh, come in a bit better. Right now, there's a lot of noise out there. If I were to connect the longer antenna to this, I'd probably receive. A few stations but uh, the daytime is not a good time to receive shortwave signals um, it'll play say mp3 and WMA format and it'll record from a microphone that's built in onto a TF card so you can use this as a recorder it says press the mode key to enter the play mode long press the record key to enter mic recording and during recording press the record key to finish and exit the recording you can record using external line input so it's to connect an audio cable through the line input on the side here and it will record onto the SD card or micro SD card I should say and if you connect it to your computer you can transfer files to and from the SD card built in so it'll operate as a micro SD card reader as well if you connect USB to your computer. When you're playing MP3 files or any music for a file, so matter if you press the menu key, you'll see here this is the play one folder, play one, play a folder over and over, play one track or random or auto, which will just repeat everything in sequence. So if I put it in, for example, if I have an A, it'll go to the next track, 94, right? 95. If I put it in R, it'll skip randomly. Which is actually kind of nice because some, some uh, MP3 players only play 
in the order that the files were recorded on the uh, on the card. So some of them will play in random. A lot of the ones actually that I've tried before will not play in random. They only play sequentially. This one's kind of nice. You can select random play. And it'll play it randomly. To record on here, I'm going to select the radio for, for example. I'll go to something I can record without having to worry about uh, where am I here? A AM FM. I'll go to AM. We'll record from the uh, traffic station. I think I can probably play that. So let's try a recording on here. I'm just going to record from the traffic station. If I press and reco press the record key and hold it, I'm now recording onto the SD card what I'm listening to on the radio. Now it does lock the volume at the level so you can't adjust the volume while you're recording from the radio but it's now recording from the radio and to stop it I just press the record key again and that'll stop it. Okay now I've created a file called radio 0001.mp3 if I'm in the uh, if I'm in the music mode there's the track I just recorded. If I stop it and press the record key while I'm in the um, MP3 mode, it should now start recording my voice, which it is now recording my voice. If I had a line input plugged into here, it would record automatically switches to line input from the microphone and we'll record in stereo obviously so now it's recording me if i stop it by pressing the stop recording key my voice which is now recording my voice if i had a line input plugged into here it would record automatically switches to line input from the microphone and we'll record in stereo obviously so now it's recording me if i stop it by pressing recording my voice and it'll just play it over and over because i've got it in i've got it in repeat mode South of Miner's Little Pocket at the merges between North and West Bend, that's it. Recording. I'm switching voice, folders, which, right? It is. And they'll switch to the music, right? So record file, this is switching between music that's recorded on the card, press and hold. Recording. It'll now go to the voice, microphone, the record is, file. So your recording voice, folder is, and is, your uh, your pre-recorded. So here. now we're back to my 352 tracks that I have recorded on here. Press and hold that and it'll lock your keys. Press and hold again to release. Unlock. Back to my record files. If I want to delete a file you've recorded, just press and hold the delete key. Is it okay to delete this file? Yes. That'll be the radio file. I want to delete this one too. There we go. Now we're back to the music. I press the record file button here. Nothing will happen because there's no recording folder. So it's got a little bass port in the back as well. That's why the sound is so good off the speaker. We're going to just take the back off this thing and just see what it looks like inside. Do a little quick tear down. I don't want to spend too much time on this thing because after all it is just a little AM FM shortwave radio with an MP3 player built in. But uh, I kind of like it actually. Never hurts to have a radio hanging around you know if you need to listen to something. But. Uh, I'm sure I'll find a use for it. But let's see what's inside it. I'll let you guys know in the comments how the shortwave reception is once it gets dark. Okay, screws out of the unit. The front will probably pop off. There we go. I can't separate the back too much because of the AM bar antenna, the bar antenna. I don't want to damage the wires, but uh, there is the unit there. Just a couple chips inside here. Just one little 
three watt speaker, little amplifier down here. All right. Headphone and auxiliary, and I'd say it is stereo when you're listening with headphones. And uh, basically, it's got like three chips on the thing, four chips. Not much to it. But hey, it gets the job done, right? Little, a little bar antenna there for AM reception. That's about all there is to it. We know components on the other side of the board other than the, the display, I would think. And the keys, of course, the switches. Yep, just the key switches and the display on this side. Microphone on the top here. When you're in the um, MP3 mode, if you press and hold the pause key, you will get to your, your different modes, like play mode, all, repeat one, repeat folder, random. That's also accessible through this key over here. And if we press and hold, again, we can change the equalizer, normal, pop, rock, jazz, classic, country, low bass, etc. Um, press and hold and if we get down to our I guess it's just the three oh back uh, root gives you the root directory but then you can go through the different the different folders like for example I have my, all my music bakery tracks here but I have one called YouTube music library so in here these ones here are the YouTube tracks So I've got stuff that I recorded from the YouTube music uh, folder as well, that, that their royalty free stuff, which incidentally has been hit with copyright claims. So this is this is stuff from the from the YouTube stuff. This one, this one got hit. This one got hit with the copyright claim. Anyway, that about does it for this one. Uh, you can find a link to this one in the description. And uh, this is uh, how it sounds, making a recording through the built-in microphone. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one real soon. Bye for now.